Hey everyone, I finally found an interesting file that I wanted to make a video on. It's a CIA document that describes a pilot's interaction with a large UFO. Allegedly, it takes his plane inside of it and he communicates with the crew for almost three hours. After he reports his findings, he is sent off for a psych evaluation. Before we get fully into things, I wanted to say stick around to the end of the video so you can see what kind of things I want to give away at 500 subscribers. It's a few little trinkets that I think would be a good way of saying thank you for all the support I'm getting. This file outlines the summary of events that occurred in 1968. It involves a test pilot named Gene May. Gene was interested in being able to fly the X-15 type supersonic aircraft that was currently in development by the Air Force. So he simply asked, and to his luck, he was permitted. He was allowed to fly the X-15 for only a few minutes. They made sure of this by only allowing for about 10 minutes of fuel. As Gene was flying along, a large unknown UFO appeared on the radar screen. The UFO blips on the radar then suddenly merged with the X-15. Aircraft radio contact was interrupted. The large UFO then disappeared for around three hours. Choppers and other search aircraft were scrambled and no further contact could be made. Pilot May was later interviewed and explained that the UFO contacted and took the aircraft inside it. May even states that he talked to crew members for a few minutes and was taken to a craft commander. He talked to everyone for around 2.5 hours but asked to leave after he realized how long he had been gone. He was dropped from the proper altitude and with correct velocity to complete a safe landing without base radio contact. May immediately relayed all this information to operations personnel, but was immediately discredited and subjected to psychiatric counseling. May makes the point and mentions that he only had 10 minutes of fuel and was airborne for a full three hours. How else could he have stayed in the air for that long with only 10 minutes of fuel? It is also very interesting that he never said anyone was an alien and he was still thought to have been crazy. After being discredited and going through psychiatric evaluations, he became more reluctant to speak out on his experiences. Going a step further, May's wife was contacted by the Air Force and told to disregard anything unusual her husband told her, which is another very odd thing for them to do if he was simply crazy. The document notes that there was a follow-up scheduled to happen with Mr. May, but it was discovered that he passed away from natural causes prior to them being able to make contact. I find all of this very interesting. If he truly was allowed to take a test flight and only given 10 minutes of fuel, how did he stay gone for three hours? What was scrambling the radars of all the search craft during this time? Why did the Air Force contact his family and tell them to disregard anything unusual he may say? Going as far as contacting his family is a step too far. They do not have the right to tell his wife to ignore anything Adis has to say. That's simply too much. Of course, he didn't say anything about aliens, but there is a possibility he made contact with a secret organization that's involved with the American government, or even some other covert operation. Maybe all of the UFOs that are seen around the world are part of this larger secret group. We may never know, but either way, this was a very interesting declassified file. Alright guys, thanks for getting this far. Please subscribe if you haven't already, as I'm giving away a few cool prizes when I reach 500 subscribers. The last few videos were a bit of an experiment, and I hope to figure out how to direct this channel when I run out of UFO slash alien content. I hope to do a few tech and movie reviews, and also some gaming videos just to broaden the scope of this channel a bit. Again, I appreciate everyone who stuck around. I am going to do everything I can to make it worth your time.